Good morning. I hope this morning finds you with God's blessing being greatly poured upon you and your family and all your loved ones around you. This is Mark Smith with your morning devotion this morning. Today we take a look at a song that has taken our nation and our country and our world by storm over the last few weeks called The Blessing. The Blessing was written and it originally recorded on the Sunday prior to the different states and governments shutting down mass gatherings um, by Cody Carnes and Carrie Job, along with Chris Brown and Steve Furtick of Elevation Church. It's recorded during that last service they had um, before mass gatherings was taken away. Um, and really, it just struck a, a chord. Uh, we said this song as a benediction for years, for as long as um, I've been born, and many of you before me can recite this benediction by heart. And they turned it into a song. And I found myself a few weeks ago you know, engaged in a conversation with us, other worship leaders with the question of, is this song an actual worship song? and a song that's appropriate for worship. And we ran across a clip from Rick Pino. Rick Pino is one, um, a, a young, young man who teaches on worship leadership um, and worship theology. And he explained the three different types of songs that we sing that's appropriate for worship. Number one is those songs, which we all are familiar with, that are from man to God songs, which we adore and glorify who God is in himself. Then secondly, there are songs from God to man, in which we sing to talk about God's love and adoration of his people here on, on earth. Then thirdly, where we find the roots for this benediction slash song, and it is a song that is they are derived to be man-to-man -man songs where we declare God's blessing upon, upon each other. And it takes its root in Colossians 3.16 that reads, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your hearts to God. And the song, The Blessing, and I read it, it comes from Numbers 6, 24 to 27. The verse of this song identically comes from Numbers 6, 24 to 27, and it reads, The Lord bless you and he keep you. The Lord makes his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. So shall they put my name upon the people of Israel, and I will bless them. And what does it mean to be blessed? To be blessed is to confer or invoke divine favor upon, ask God to look favorably upon something or someone. And it takes its root from the Hebrew word barak or barak, uh, which means to bless or to praise. Now, does God um, need to praise his people? He doesn't need to, but God desires to bless and to praise his people. And so, as we re were reminded in Colossians 3.16, we should enjoy singing and, and praying and blessings and praising one another to admonish each other into the word of the Lord. And in the bridge of the song, it takes its roots in Psalms 9017. And the bridge reads, May his favor be upon you and a thousand generations, and your family and your children and their children. We can go on with the children's forever and ever. But that simple reminder in that bridge reminds us of the covenant that God made with Abraham, not only to bless him and his immediate family but to bless him and his children and generations and generations to come. And then in bridge two, it reads, May his presence go before you, 
and behind you and beside you and all around you and within you. He is with you. He is with you. That takes is taken from Exodus 33, 14, where Moses is interceding on behalf of the people as he asks God or basically demands that God would accompany his people. And God had already promised that he would send a guide. He would be with them along the way. But now we have Moses who is saying, these are your people, and I, I want you to go with them and show them your presence as we walk along the path that you're sending us. And God responded to him, and he said, my presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. So as we look at this song that 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 has been taken from a benediction and we sing to each other, it is my prayer. And from my family to your family, my household to your household, that God's favor will be upon you, that he will bless you, that he will be with you, before you, beside you, and all around you as you travel the course throughout this week. We're all excited to, to finally be get to a point where we're talking about getting together as a unit, as God's body, to sing and, and learn his word together as a body of believers again. But until then, let's continue to pray blessings upon one another, to wish that God will go before us, behind us, in our weeping, in our rejoicing, and remind us each and every one that you can, that God is with you and he is for you. Be blessed and have a blessed week. Amen.